Hey everyone, it's Theo from Spectrum Gardening. It's in the middle of uh, November and I'm just getting around to planting my garlic now. It's not too late, don't worry. Uh, I know quite a few people say, well plant in September, plant in October. The issue with planting it early is if we have a late summer and you get a lot of growth on your garlic during that period before we get a hard frost, you're gonna get a lot of frost damage to the plants and it can actually damage them. But at the same time, you don't want to be waiting into the middle of the winter to, to be planting it because then that means your cloves won't actually get a strong root system going before the spring comes and uh, they won't be as strong, big as healthy plants. You can even plant garlic in the spring. The drawback about doing that is uh, your cloves like this, they won't actually multiply into a full head of garlic. It'll just grow into a bigger clove just like that. So if you don't mind spring garlic, you can plant it in the spring just fine, or let's say you didn't get around to planting it in the fall. You can still plant it in the spring and you can still get some sort of harvest on it. This year, I'm trying out a soft neck variety of garlic. Um, in the previous years, I've always grown hard neck. And the difference, the main difference is hard neck will actually have a scape that will grow from the middle of the garlic head. It'll grow up and it'll kind of twist over. And, uh, Typically you harvest those scapes uh, so the bulb can get bigger. Soft necks don't have those scapes. However, soft necks do keep longer than hard neck garlics do. So in our experience, our garlic has never really lasted long enough for us because uh, we've always grown hard necks. So this year we're trying a soft neck variety and we're gonna see how it does. And uh, if it does really well in our climate, great, I'll continue growing it. But if it doesn't, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to continue experiment to see what I can be doing um, to find a variety of garlic that will actually keep for as long as we'd like. When you're planting your garlic, uh, always keep in mind, big cloves like this will always produce bigger bulbs and bigger cloves of garlic later on compared to cloves like this. So what I've done earlier uh, about three, four days ago, I've separated all my garlic and I kind of put it aside to kind of let it heal a little bit. The reason I wanted to do it ahead of time is because sometimes there's cloves like this that are missing wrappers along here. And I wanted to give, the t give that garlic kind of time to kind of heal over. Because if you peel too much of your wrapper, your garlic, your garlic will actually rot in, your gar in the ground. So I've gone ahead and I've separated all my garlic cloves out from the biggest to the smallest. And uh, here are my biggest cloves. These are the next step down. These are the second, second smallest size that I have. And these are my smallest size that I have. What I'll do is I'll plant my biggest ones first, then I'll go to the second biggest ones and I'll work my way down according to how much space I have. There's nothing wrong with planting small cloves of garlic, it's just they won't produce as big as bulbs and big as cloves next year for you. Garlic is a very heavy feeder. So uh, when you're planting out your crops in the summer of where to plant your garlic in the fall, it's a very good idea to amend that spot where your garlic is gonna be going. And then again in the fall, in the spring, to follow up also fertilizing it to give it a little bit of an extra boost so you can produce even bigger bulbs. No matter what kind of method you're using to plant your garlic, you always want to plant it pointy side up. The reason for that is because this is where all your green growth is going to come from and the bottom is going to be, is going to be where your roots coming from. It's just like the same theory, exact same thing as planting a seed upright, upside right or upside down. One of the easiest ways to plant your garlic is to dig a trench like this and place your garlic cloves in it along it and then cover it back up. Another way is to be using a dibble board. A dibble board is a piece of plywood that would have like kind of pegs at certain intervals. So it's already pretty, it's already spaced out. So you just put it on the soil, you squish it, you take it off and there are all your garlic holes that you can just stuff full of your cloves, all good to go. A method that we utilize, however, is uh, involving this mesh behind us. It's the same sort of mesh that we use to uh, build all our trellises with and the, same, and the arbors that we have behind us. I've laid out a full piece of that mesh that I was talking about uh, earlier on the bed behind me, but I also have a scrap piece one right here 
this scrap piece is just a little bit easier to hold and kind of show versus the big one. The reason I like the, this mesh so much is because these squares right here, they're six by six. So meaning if we take a tape measure and we measure the middle from one to the middle of the other one, it's six, seven inches, depending on how accurately I hold it. Um, the reason that's so good is because garlic is recommended to be planted at least six inches apart. So what I can be doing is I can be plopping my cloves right in the middle of these squares without really having to measure too much. I just kind of eyeball where the center is. I talked a little bit about a dibbler board earlier. Uh, dibbler boards make it quite a bit, light, quite a bit easier for uh, farmers or for even home growers that are growing large amounts of garlic to get it planted relatively quickly. So I don't use a dibble board. I use this mesh behind me and I also use, I use a broken uh, off shovel handle like this. And what this shovel handle does, it enables me to uh, not to bend over to, to poke my holes in the soil. I can just take my shovel handle, put it on the soil just like this and press down and there's my hole right there. The general rule of thumb that I go by when I'm planting my garlic is however big the clove is, that's how deep I plant it from the surface of the soil. So in other words, a clove like this will be planted this far away roughly from the top of the soil, plus or minus of course, right? And a smaller clove like this will be planted roughly about this much away from the top of the soil. Well, it may not be rec the recommended depth of what uh, some people say to plant it. That's what I always use my, that's what I always do myself and it always works out just fine for me. planted pretty much all my garlic. The only size that I have left is the smallest size. And what I'll actually be doing is sorting these again and taking out the biggest cloves from here and planting the biggest cloves pretty much wherever in my garden. See how they do. If they do great, that's fantastic. But if not, oh well, no harm, no foul. What I'll actually probably be doing in the spring is actually going to them, uh, going along and pulling out a couple and harvesting some as spring garlic as well. I talked a little bit about uh, hard neck versus soft neck uh, earlier in the video. So hard neck does a lot better in cold climates. Uh, we're, I'm actually growing in seven, I'm kind of on the border between uh, 8B and like 7B, 7A. So my climate isn't really the warm climate per se, but uh, I feel confident if I add some mulch to my garden beds over here, if I, mul if I mulch the garlic pretty well, I should be able to uh, bring them through the winter and they should grow just fine in the spring. My next step will be to add the mulch and in the spring when the garlic starts to grow what I'll do is just I'll pull back the mulch that I used uh, just around the stem. I will be using manure to mulch my garlic with simply for the fact is because uh, once I pull my garlic I can lightly rake in that manure and then it's going to add more nutrition and more and more organic matter and more benefit to my uh, grow to my soil. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, 
give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about what I showed you, throw them down in the section down below and I will answer them. And if you have a friend or that's planning to plant their garlic or you that think this video would be useful for, for them, feel free to share it. And of course, if you would like to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and follow us.